Hey guys, Darren. So we're gonna take a look at some more layout today. Today specifically, I wanna take a look at pages, layers, and tags, and how they all work and how they work together. So let's hop right in. Okay, so I have a little document here, and I know right away that this document is three pages because there are three pages listed in the pages window. If you don't see any of these little windows that I'm talking about, you can go up to window and you can activate them right there. Um, so this is a real super simple cover. Uh, all the information here is real simple, but I just want to be able to illustrate just what the important parts are, what we want to look at. So if we look at this, let's start, we'll start at the bottom and work our way up. Let's talk about pages first. So in here I have three pages. I can switch between the pages by just clicking on each page. And you can see the contents of the page has changed. So in the cover page, here I have some text and I have some shapes that are drawn in here. Uh, on page one and two, I have model windows and then some text. So I can actually click between them just by clicking this. If I wanted to, super simple to make new pages. I have a plus right here, which is gonna create a new empty page and a minus here, which will take the current page, the active page, and remove it. There's also a duplicate here. Generally speaking, I feel like most of the times I end up duplicating my pages rather than creating them from scratch because a lot of times there's some portion of content on a page that I wanna take into the new page I'm creating. So a lot, I generally use duplicate more often than plus, but uh, they're both there and available to you. The other option here is just a filter on how I want the pages to be seen. So if you have a big list and you wanna see them alpha, or numerically in order that you have them in the document, you can see the list. If you're more of a visual person and wanna see a thumbnail, you can click the thumbnail view. Regardless, either one, you just click on a page to go to it. Uh, it doesn't matter how you actually have it set to view right there. So pages are real simple, very, very simple. What they contain, this is where we start to get into a little more information. So the first thing, the important thing, is that each page contains layers. And right here, this is layers. So these are not the layers of old school SketchUp. These are actual physical layers. These lay on top of one another. Now you're gonna have one set of layers for an entire document, but not every single layer is gonna be on for every single page. So let's take a look what I mean by this. So if I look at this cover page, I have this layer called cover page info, and that is turned on. I have this thing called on every page, but it's turned off. And then I have a default window, which is turned on. So let's look at what these are. So each page, each, each, I'm sorry, each layer has some options. There's a pencil here. So I can click between layers that are visible. See the little eyeball here. An eye means visible, empty eye means turned off or invisible. So I can flip my pencil between those layers. Clicking between a layer, that's just changing which layer is active. So if I draw something new right now, it's gonna go onto this layer. Next to that is lock. So once I get the information to the point where it's perfect, I don't wanna change it, I don't want to change it myself or have anybody else change it, I can lock it. Once it's locked, I can't be active. I can't activate that layer. I also can't select anything on that layer. See that, so I, everything is, is taken away from me. And then the final one is the on multiple pages. Is this, is this across all pages or is this just on a single page? So my cover page info is just on one page, but then I have this on every page and that is set to multiple. So let's see how those work too. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna unlock this for right now. And let's jump to page two. So page two has a model window. If I click on the model window, a little blue dot that shows up over here. Anytime you activate something on your screen, it's going to show you with the little dot what layer it's actually on. So this is on the default layer, so I could turn that on and off. Down here I have some text, and you see that is in the on every page layer, which is also visible. So I could come through here, and I could flip between these two pages, and this text is exactly the same. So on both pages, it's on the same thing. This is the big difference between the on every page and on a single page. The contents of a single page layer are different for every single page. So on page two, the contents of the default layer 
are this picture of a chair. On page one, the contents of the default layer are this picture of a chair, which is totally different. But on both pages, the on every page content is exactly the same. So it can get a little bit confusing because the contents that can have stuff on the same layer across different pages, but they're different because they're individual per, per each layer. The other thing that I can change is tags. So this is, this is like another level of customization that I can do in here. So if I look at this page one, I have this chair right here, and if I select the model window, it shows me the tags that are visible for this chair. So if I was to come in here and start turning pieces off, I do have to re-render since I turned auto render off, you can see these pages or these pieces start disappearing. That's because they are on individual tags. The tags are a part of the model window and not actually a part of the layers or the pages, but it is another level of customization you can do inside of layout. So it doesn't have to all be set or automatically or already when I come in here, I don't have to have everything perfect from uh, SketchUp because I can come back through here and I can turn these pieces back on turn these tags back on and off to customize my view. And then I use layers and pages to save those views to create my model document. So hopefully that made sense. Um, a lot of people are scared of the way layout works. I don't really know why. I think it's because it's different. It's different from SketchUp. It doesn't work exactly like other CAD software does. It doesn't work exactly like you know, drawing programs or that, that people are used to, it is a little bit different. It does have its own way of working. But once you go through there and you see how it works, it really is pretty simple and very usable. So I'm hoping that what this does is demystifies the way that pages, pages and layers work inside of layout. If you did like that, please click on like down below. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click subscribe. We create a couple videos a week around here and you'll be notified if you subscribe to our channel. Most importantly though, please leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think, if you have ideas for other things we could do. Most of our content at this point is derived from comments from viewers like you. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.